When I first walked in to Chavetz Chaim Chattanooga in ninth grade, I wondered what the next four years of my life would be like. Little did I know what was in store for me. When I walk around the hallways, I always see Talmidim smiling. They really like it here. Either that, or they just broke something and don't want to tell me about it. <laughs> here in CCC, I learned to take responsibility. Even though I want to tell Rebbe I made a hole in the wall, he still found out and built me anyway. We strive to make our yeshiva as comfortable as we can for our bachrim. Thing is, we don't have a lot of money, so we can't really make it all that comfortable. Well, the dorm in yeshiva really isn't that bad. I mean, it could be worse. Coming to CCC, I never really got outside much. Now that I'm in the dorm, I have to go outside whether I like it or I don't. Come Rabbi Sai, why the Ani Lepanecha, Melachai, the Kayam? It's a beautiful day here in CCC! Shachmas is in five minutes, Rabbi Sai! Get your body out of bed! Let's go! Hashem, come on! The food in yeshiva really isn't so bad once you get used to it. It really makes you feel like you're in the old yeshivas of Europe, like Navardic and Slabotka. Here at CCC, we Rabbeim take tremendous pride in our beards. Any Talmud who doesn't shave will get severe consequences. My favorite part about being a Rebbe in this yeshiva is watching the ninth graders come in as little uh, immature pitchers and, and slowly developing into fully grown, mature, independent base Medrash Bachram. You know, it's Mabish Apella to see these ninth graders, these little Bachram, they come in, they come in, in like little shots and ugh, and by the time they leave four years later in twelfth grade, I feel like <laughs> I feel like a magic compared to them. <laughs> Since we started back in 1994, we have grown tremendously as a yeshiva. We now offer up to five years of high school at a brand new Gishmake Base Medrash program. Our Base Medrash program began when, in the summer of 2016, a Choshiva donor donated a truck full of Svarim. And I was like, Oy vey! What are we going to do with so much Svarim? So we started a very much Choshevo based metrics program.
Chavetz Chaim Chattanooga, we understand that it's hard for our Gminim to follow rules. So in order to set them up for success, we allow some leeway. We allow our Talmidim to drink two times a week, on Shabbos and on weekdays. There is also a flip side to the leniencies we provide, because we must enforce the rules we do make. Therefore, any Talmud found not following the rules is subjected to 40, 39 Malkos. We know you'll love it here, so come and check it out. Chofetz Chaim Chattanooga, what's your Havamina?